good control. Sappho looking for Kizito. And this time a strike comes out from uh, Sul Lomote. And Ghana looking to score! Turn. Patrick Razak in the box. And he's been given. Patrick Razak first. Control of the game since coming on. He gives Ghana a penalty. Well, what that is, Ben, they didn't have time to, to get themselves in a, in a formation because a new player came on. No instructions given. A poor Moses at the back. Is a Adelaide. They all didn't know what to do. And this is little Vela comes on and suddenly strikes terror into the heart of Nigeria. The referee being a little bit pressurized, but as far as I'm concerned, that was a penalty. That was a penalty. We brought him down. Being pressured is the man from Senegal at this moment by the goalkeeper, who is, of course, the captain. So he's allowed to have his say as long as his say is not in any way verbose. Have a look. Turns well. Guess it. Now he puts it inside. Here he goes. Ooh. Where does the tackle start? Where does it take a penalty? It really is. Calm, collected, and the big man scores again. To give himself two, game, two goals in the competition. There it is. Look what he does. It looks like he's going to pull his foot round it the way he goes up there. They're going to whip that into the other corner and he opens his foot up and is pushing it past the keeper. That Test is a cool, the ball here. calm, collected Boom. No more tea. Razak here. He's got a good ball in play. Goes in. Razak. And another penalty to go. Amazing. Oh my word. Patrick Razak has come on and got his team two penalties just because his pure pace, his ball control, and he's taking the defense on and they don't know how to deal with him. And on this occasion, I think you'll find he gives the referee no chance whatsoever, no options. There it is. Big man sticks his leg there. He's like a giraffe going down at a water hole. What on earth was he trying to do with that? That was a shocking, shocking tackle. And I'm afraid, young man, and I like you because I've met you a couple of times and discussed things with you, but that was terrible. <laughs> well, he finds himself a yellow card. Steven has uh, played so well. He's been a real pillar of the back there for Nigeria, but this time, he disappointed. Can I say something? Really? Right. Think about it. Who's the man taking the penalty? Steven Safo has been given that responsibility. Exactly. So what does that mean? Well, if, it, if he's about to hit the back of the net, makes it four for him. Exactly. That's yeah, what so, I'm getting at. Yeah. So he needs to... He needs this to yeah. win the golden boot mm. on his own. Yeah. So it's heavy. Can he pick it up? Well, he's gonna I'm get, sure he knows. He's going to get some friends in Brukum to help him out. Let's see what happens. Steven Safo here. Safo! Stop. 
Sorry. Yeah, I'm afraid so. With 15 minutes to go, less than 12 minutes to go on the clock. This is retribution for losing 2 0 in the group stages. They've come back, they've put three past their arch rivals, and Stephen Safu has now got four goals in this tournament, and he's now top of the pile when it comes to the way he calmly puts it through the middle. The keeper sees him come off his line, he tries to narrow the angle down the keeper, that's the decision he makes. And this crowd love every oh, goal. Oh, oh, oh. Except the ones carrying. But Patrick Razak gives it. Razak going. And Gala can have a fourth goal. Went full cover. Finally, get the fourth goal for Ghana. And this is becoming an embarrassment to Nigeria here. Final of the 2017 Waffle Cup of Nations. And guess what? In stoppage time, it is Nigeria nil, Ghana 4. Yes, if you think that's a mistake, you're wrong. It is 4-0. And I'm extremely, extremely delighted with young Patrick Rezas, who's come on and he's tormented. What he does here, this is such a bad move. Look what's happening now. There is, and that's what he does. Selfishly, unselfishly, he just keeps pushing forward. Look, keeper, keeper's down, don't know what to do next. I love this, and he does. That is 4-0. I don't think, in all honesty, it's a reflection of the game, but I have to say, it's that was made it 1-0 at half time. The just got their goal Nigeria. right at the right moment. I'm going to just have to swap. And then it's got two penalties, and now finally now tap in with Gabina making it 4-0. Final attacking move there for Nigeria. The free kick ball whipped in beautifully. Oh, that is fantastic goal. But that ends the game. Nigeria gets to pull one back, but of course it was too little too late there for Rabi Ali. 4-1 ends, and Nigeria completely embarrassed here. And, well, I just have to say this. It was a well-taken free kick by Rabi Ali, but he came in too late. Well, Ali got one of those earlier in the competition, one of those free kicks. He's a very good exponent of the ball when it's a dead, dead ball situation. Very good exponent of it. Keeper had no chance whatsoever with that. And Ali, the oldest man on the field, watch this. That is beautiful. Keeper just takes one step to his right and puts himself a little extra pressure to try and get to the left, and he doesn't do so. But I'll tell you what, I put that in my scrapbook. That's a really, really good free kick. Tell you what, Barrett, the man with the experience, finally executed. Good free kick there for Nigeria. It was indeed. I'd already written down 4-0 and to the game. And I've had to adjust my uh, uh, my scorecard. But let's have a look at it, what it was. First half.